Hendricks. We're ready to taxi. All right, so we're clear there. We're clear here. And you notice I'm not using the stick at all. I'm just using the feet and the brakes to steer the plane. Nice. All right, so if you want to put your feet back on the rudders up towards the top where the brakes are, yep. and you can use the brakes just to make her go left or right. And I want you to keep it so that yellow center line, wherever you think that is now, like you're right near whatever, yeah. that's where you want to keep it. You can see how you're going left, so do a little right brake like this. Okay, I see. Yep. There you oh, go. yeah, I see how sensitive they are yep. now. Ooh, my bad. All right, so now, go okay, back, my bad, go my this bad. way. <laughs> It's a little getting used to. It does. It's kind of like driving a, a skid steer. You know, you're yeah. hitting the brake on one side to make it go that way. All right, try her again. More right brake in, just to get over to the right a little bit. Yeah, pressing the brakes brake, are right? at the top. Just okay, one okay. though, just one. Just right, one, you okay. wanted to go right. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, All okay, right, okay, now okay. once we get her back here, see, we'll just kind of get her back up. Uh, All right, get her back to the center. Help you out. I'm just kind of tapping the brakes. It's okay to move the rudders with the brakes, but the yeah. brakes are really what's doing the steer. Got it. Okay, see if you can keep her on the center line. All you. You have the controls. Uh, what are you supposed to say? I have I, the controls. I have the controls. I have the All controls. Right, there you go. Okay. So we're going to do what's called the run-up. Got it. And we're going to take the engine up to 2,000 RPMs. And we're going to check our magnetos. And we're going to get our prop uh, warmed up and checked. So first thing is, we go 2,000 RPMs. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn one of the magnetos off. And what we're looking for is how much the RPMs drop. All right, so that was about 130, 140. The maximum drop we can have is 175. 70, okay. So we'll go back to both. And then we'll check the other one. Okay, so that was about 110. So that's good, too. And the max difference between them is 50. So 175 maximum drop, 150 between them. All right, so lastly, the prop governor is run by engine oil. So we're going to cycle the prop to get some warm oil up there. And watch the RPMs when I pull this lever back. It'll drop right down because it's changing the angle of that blade. Yeah. All right, that all works good. We'll let everything even out. And last thing is we just want to make sure all the needles are in the green. Got uh, And they are. You pull up here first, and then right. they let you know. We have to stop short of this line. Got it. Concord Tower 526 Delta Sierra, holding short of 2-0 at Echo. Ready to go. Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra is 4,100 feet available. Can you go from Echo? Hey, affirmative, 526 Delta Sierra. Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra from Taxiway Echo, runway 2-0. Clear for takeoff, left turn to the northeast is approved. Get her on the second line, right feet on the floor. All right, and 59 is called rotate speed. So as soon as we 59, we can pull the stick back. You hear that little squeak? That's the yeah. stall horn I was telling you about. Okay. All right, so I'm keeping my hand on the throttle just in case anything happens. I want to know right where it is. Don't want to accidentally come back. Yep. All right, we can pull our flaps up and start our turnout. All right, so now we're coming up on 3,000. I'm just going to level her out. We're going to start pulling the power back. And you see, if I let go of the stick, she wants to climb. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm rolling that trim wheel forward like we talked about. Yeah. And now she doesn't want to climb. Uh -huh. All right, now we're going to check our lean. This is the temperature of the gas coming out of the exhaust. And as we pull the fuel back to put less fuel in, that temperature's going to rise. Crew track and what we're shooting just for turn left and go east for now. is about 1,475 degrees, so I'm going to put Crew a little fuel back in to get her to come down a little bit. Traffic, uh, about your one and you can see she's kind of averaging out right there. For a left downwind at now we're leaning, so landing light can come off, fuel pumps off, so we're basically configured for, for traffic at one uh, cruise. Uh, uh, Alright, you ready to try your uh, hand at it? Right uh, you ready to try your hand at it? Yeah. Alright, one second, let me get rid of more out of his airspace. Alright, so your feet are on the rudder pedals, put your left hand on the stick. Your right hand doesn't need to be on the throttle right now because we're not doing anything. Good. And see if you can maintain 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. And there's a heading button. 
So what you're gonna find yourself doing, what most people do is they end up staring at this screen. And what we wanna do more than that is kinda of try to keep our eyes outside. Uh, uh, it's kinda of like when you drive your car, right? You don't stare at the speedometer. Yeah. And to maintain heading, a lot of times it's helpful to, you know, if you know you're pointed in the right direction, find a spot on the ground if you can see one and kind of fly towards that. Yep. And just occasionally check. All right, you're on the controls. First step in flying is straight and level flying. Uh, Second step is landing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Well, yeah, you did uh, describe it as a ro bumpy roller coaster. That's yeah. how it feels. Yeah. Oh, man, this is a... Uh, pretty, pretty cool, isn't it? Definitely a sight, yeah. I mean, not many people get this kind of view. Ah. Yeah, seriously. At what point do you use the rudder? Mostly when we're turning. Turning, okay. Do you see that little block that's under the triangle? Yeah. yeah. That tells you what rudder input is necessary. So whatever side the block is, that's the rudder pedal you push. So see how it's out to the left a little bit? Yeah. So if you push the left pedal, it'll come uh, back in. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do, I can see there's an airport with airspace coming up. So we're going to turn to the left a little bit. So I'm going to move your heading bug to there. I want you to ease the stick to the left. A little more. Uh, right about there. And let her turn till that heading bug gets under that arrow there and then level her out. And there you go, a little bit of left rudder. All right, now start leveling the wings back out. There you go, you just did your first turn. Now you'll notice when you turn, you might have to put a little back pressure on the stick. Yes. So what you've done is you've taken the lift that's holding you up and you've redirected some of it to push you to the side. The, uh, the rudder does not cause you to turn the plane. It's the rudder just keeps the plane on the right axis. Okay. All right, so when you turn, there are different rates of turn. Obviously, we could really just bank the plane, it would turn faster. But there are two standard turns called a standard rate turn and a half standard rate turn. Okay. Standard rate turn will cause you to do a 360 degree circle in two minutes. Uh, half standard rate would be four minutes. So the way you can monitor that is when you start turning, uh, turn turn to the left a little bit. Let your wings go to the left. A little more. I'm pushing right. See this little magenta line coming out of there? Yeah. When it's on that line right there, that's a standard rate turn. It's a standard rate so turn. So if you okay. keep it on that line, it will take us two minutes to do a 360 degree circle. Very nice. Very nice. You're a natural. Uh, we'll have you landed by one o'clock. Uh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're doing good. You've climbed a little bit, but uh, yeah. not bad. You're doing pretty good at controlling your altitude. Yeah, I'm trying to multitask. There's, like you said, there's a lot going on, yep. but... Um, yep. All right, so see we have an advisory button. Yeah. Plan. So press that button. All right, so it tells us to switch tanks. So what we're going to do is put the fuel pump on. All right now, just turn that selector till it clicks into the other tank. Oh. Then we'll let it sit there a second. If everything runs good, we'll turn the fuel pump off. Might turn it off? Yep, go ahead. And then hit that alert button again, and that'll reset your timer. So now uh, we'll start all over again and help keep our tanks even. Uh, so I mean, it's a timer. You said it's for a timer. 30, 30 I think minutes? It's on 30 minutes, right? Okay. Right, and we set that. That's not built into the plane. It's just something I put in there to help me remember. Uh, because if you look right here, the maximum difference they want us to have is eight gallons from side uh, to side. Yeah, Obviously yeah. you don't want 25 gallons on one side, nothing in the other. Yeah. We're out from under Charlotte's airspace, so let's let's try a climb. And climb. All, right, so, all right, so I want you to stay on your heading. There's your heading bug. I want you to stay on that. Okay. I want you to ease the black knob all the way forward. Forward. Yes, sir. All the way up. And I want you to start pulling back on the stick a little bit. Gently or? Yep, yeah, yeah, gently. You can see this number right here. That's our called our vertical speed. Got it. Generally about five to 600 feet a minute would be okay. good. So right about where you are. And we'll just let her climb to 4,000 feet. Okay. So yeah, she's going back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little more back pressure. Uh, I didn't increase much of the throttle I'm speed. Go, go all the way. Oh, we'll okay, when okay. we climb, we go full throttle. Uh, and you said, Keep it on the 400. Five, five to 600 feet. Five, 600, uh, right. right. 
And I don't want you to stare at that. Once you kind of get it where you want, like right there, you can usually just look out the front yeah, and kind of get that sight picture. Yeah, yeah. Right. Le yeah, like, make sure it has, what is it, fingers? Right, fingers like, above the counter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because if you try to stare at that, that thing moves like lightning up and down. Yeah, and yeah, it does. Nuts. Yeah. Watch your head. You're kind of, you feel, did you feel the wing kind of dip to the left a little yeah. bit? Yeah. Okay, so you want to come back to the right. Remember, your heading bug is, is the direction yeah. we're supposed to go. There you go. It takes a while to where you can kind of see what's going on outside and know what the plane's doing. Exactly. Um, and landing is one of the hardest parts to get down because most of it is feel. Feel the picture. The instruments do a lot for you when you're landing. Uh, you're, doing, you're doing good. What well, I was starting to say before is a lot of people have a tendency to over control the plane and they put too much input in and the, we, we do too much. You're doing well at that, not, not getting over, over control. Oh, I'm trying. I'm <laughs> How are you doing back there? I'm yeah. enjoying the view. Oh, awesome. good. You scared for your life, baby? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. No worries. Oh, this is awesome. I love it. All right. Make All right, sure. So 4,000 was our altitude, so push the stick forward. All right, now start pulling your power back until we get to about 23 inches. 23. It's the inches. We measure our engine power in inches. Right there. Hey, right, that's good. And we'll just let her ease down a little bit to All our 4,000. And you find your heading, that's good. And you just did a climb. And as you fly it more, you'll, you'll develop a sense of the feel. Uh-oh, I feel this in my, my bottom. Yeah. I know what it's doing. Exactly. Yeah, because right now I'm trying to focus on steering and uh, elevation right. Right. and uh, degree. And I'm watching out for traffic and air. You're watching that, yeah. yeah. So if you were by yourself, you'd be watching that also. I, I, would, I should have warned you up front, but I'll tell you now, flying is like expensive drugs. It's very <laughs> addictive and it's expensive. So <laughs> no, I, I, I signed up for it. I know. Once that, once you get the bug, for the, if, you know, some people come up and go, nope, not for me. I understand that. And some yeah. people come up and go, like, it's everything I thought it would be, and I'm in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And from that point on, you st she's going to get tired of listening to you talk <laughs> about flying. She's a, uh, she already is. <laughs> I tell her every time, I'm like, oh, man, look at this, look at that, this plane, I'm flying this. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, I hear from some people's wives, go, if he makes me watch one more video <laughs> on flying, I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> Let's turn to the west a little more. And you can kind of see just the edge of Lake Norman. We'll fly up over there and get a little sightseeing done, and then we'll head on back. Okay. Sounds good. That'll give you time to figure out how to land this thing, because... Oh, man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, how are you doing back there? I'm doing good. Yeah? Yeah. How are you feeling? I think he's got the bug. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's been bit. A bit bit. <laughs> All right, so let's make a left-hand turn, and we're going to start heading back towards uh, Concord. All right. Time to start 526 Delta Sierra. Report turning a five-mile straight into runway 20. All right, report five-mile straight in for 20, 526 Delta Sierra. And Serenity, and then we'll be ready for okay. bridge. I'm taking the controls. Serenity, I have the controls. Roger, so off short the rudder. Right. Off the rudder. Okay. Short of 208 then. Excited. Well, good afternoon. Give me a workout, Juliet, huh? Juliet. I like uh, that, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra, change of plans. Go to midfield and enter the right downwind for runway 20. All right, right downwind for 20, 526 Delta Sierra. Uh, when you fly, you just go by field now, right? A lot of it's by field. I'll just glance at the instruments. That's awesome. Cockroach, 526 Delta Sierra, right downwind 20. Time Star 526 Delta Sierra, extend downwind, look for a Gulf Stream on a three mile straight in. Let me know when you get them in sight. Alright, extend downwind, look for traffic, 526 Delta Sierra. Cockroach, 526 Delta Sierra, has traffic in sight. Okay. Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra, follow the Gulf Stream to runway 20, clear to land number two, caution white turbulence. Clear to land number two, 20, 526 Delta Sierra. Alright, so you see that? row of four lights on the left side of the runway. Four lights there on the left side, yeah. yeah. So those are called a pappy. They're telling us if we're on glide slope or not. So what we're shooting for is to have two white lights and two red lights, which we have now. If we have 
more red lights means we're low, and more white lights means we're high. Okay. You're aiming for what, what type of lights again? Two white and two red. Golf Street four red. zero, Julie, Julie, you can turn right at Charlie and taxi to the ramp. And I'm kind of pointing at the top of the uh, numbers, which are just past that series of lines at the end there. Yeah. Right, so I just put my landing flaps in, and what that does is it gives me more lift at slower speeds. I'm checking my airspeed. Fast, or slower down. Traffic, 12 o'clock, low, less than one mile.